This evening, local leaders say there is not enough affordable housing in Hampton Roads. It's an issue that News 3 has reported extensively on, and now new affordable housing is opening in Norfolk in the St. Paul's area. News 3 reporter Brendan Ponton has a look at the new development. This community is called the Market Heights Apartments. It's right off of Tidewater Drive and Brambleton Avenue. And leaders say it's a step in the right direction, but they say there needs to be a lot more affordable housing built. When you step into one of the units, you find a modern day, nice looking apartment. And the rent for a two bedroom apartment is just about $1,000 a month, way less than the more than $2,000 you might expect to pay for a similar apartment in downtown. More of these are absolutely needed and necessary. Carl Hardy is the president and CEO of Lawson Companies, the real estate developer behind the new apartments. The 164 units are opening at the corner of Brambleton Avenue and Tidewater Drive. The units are already all leased out and they actually got four times more applicants than they could accommodate. There are income requirements to live here, and Hardy says the goal of the property is to have affordable quality housing available. The housing need is real right now. We are millions of housing units short in the country, and in the state, uh, same thing, tremendous shortage of housing. It's a need News 3 has been extensively reporting on, including the challenges for people on a fixed income. A state report released in 2021 found Virginia has a shortage of 200,000 affordable housing units for low income or extremely low income residents. If our communities want to thrive, we've got to all come together and find affordable housing solutions. Susan Dewey is the CEO of Virginia Housing, a nonprofit that helps people be able to get affordable housing. It's going to take a lot more focus at the local level on land use and how we can find more buildable lots and there's infrastructure and other needs that go along with that. So it's, it's not an easy fix, but it's a fix. Housing officials say is needed as construction on other apartment units continues in Norfolk. Joe just came over to me and said in Virginia Beach, they tolerate jet noise in Norfolk. <laughs> we love construction noise in Norfolk. Brendan Ponton News 3. The need for affordable housing also being recognized in the state's capital. Richmond is now constructing a new affordable housing project, which is expected to bring more than 200 lower cost units to the area. Richmond's mayor commented candidly on the current state of, of affordable housing at a news conference yesterday. To be very plain, the rent's too damn high, and we know we need more housing, period. The units will be available to families making $15 to $20 an hour. Planners say base rent will stay the same for 30 years. Well, and it's not just renting that's more expensive. Data from the Real Estate Information Network shows median home sale prices in Hampton Roads have significantly increased this year, reaching $335,000. Habitat for Humanity Peninsula and Greater Williamsburg telling us there's a serious need for homes. They saw 282 applications this year, which is nearly double what they saw last year. The News 3 investigators, we looked into affordable housing crisis across Hampton Roads. We investigated how much assistance is available, the challenges seniors on a fixed income face and more. You can find that special report plus a guide to home ownership in Hampton Roads at WTKR.com.